Hello, so this will be my first recording on uh, Braille. So I will teach you how to change your teams, customize teams by different users. So uh, where do I get it? So I have a, a great website here. I know some of you know this, Deviant Art, and uh, Deviant Art has a lot of resources when it comes to teams and other other things. It's really good to search around here. So, uh, so I've been using a uh, Crayon X, uh, this one for Windows Seven, and it's sixty-four bit and thirty-two bit compatible. Or the Explorer frames. Uh, I I saw this and I kind of like the style of this one. So we will achieve this one. I want the white one. I'll give the link from the Crayon X, this one, and the things that you will need. Uh, okay, you will need uh, first if you haven't changed uh, customized uh, team. You need to download this universal team patcher and to change your start of orb life right there you need to change and download this of changer instructions is under it also for free 64 bit and 32 bit i'll give you the link in the description then let's start universal team patcher so i'm on 64 bit user so i'll run as admin always run as admin make sure it works yes and these three things will uh, pop up. So you just need to click patch the three of them and you will need to restart. As you're clicking three of them, restart. Once you restart, uh, you can now already change your themes actually. But the this one, Explorer frame, the other stuff, icons won't change remain Windows 7 but the whole team will change that. Team Crayon X um, uh, this uh, zip file they're giving is already completed we need start orbs to explore frames on the font you will need take ownership this take ownership will be used for the explorer frames this one it will be really uh, tricky to change it but it's easy if you get to it and the team may want to change your start or or if that's a stock start or you have so you'll run it at admin when you download the start or changer there you go it might be a little different but as long as you can click the change so this start orb I'm using is the token start orb uh, start orbs are also be, can be searched in the DeviantArt just search start orbs just search uh, token start orb you will have this now to change your icons as you can see I have uh, new icons here uh, you can also search icons from DeviantArt. They almost had everything to for customization. Then make sure that you will get uh, the icons that is package I by icon packager. I have here icon packager. So icon packager helps to change the system icons to you but not the application icons application icons should be manually for my method I manually change it which uh, I want it to be here in the taskbar I change it so I won't change each of every application I have I'm back download completed so I have here uh, planet, planet sphere this one Uh, it's made by Mickey. I'm going to uh, go and copy 
this and put it in my desktop folder. Eh, eh. I cannot install that. So okay, I um, will extract it here. Foo. Got that set land sphere. So mostly the team makers already is giving instructions here, but for visual uh, tutorial it would be much better. So it already have given me fonts that I would need. Explorer frame, which type of style I will install, and what kind of team I would love. Sorry, I think you really need to copy it. So I'm going to copy it. Windows, resources, themes, paste it here. Then right click, personalize. I will use the light. And wait. There we go. Oh, so nice. Max. Close. So this one we need to change explorer frame. Already had the background actually. And so um, it's nice. I like it. So you can choose more. Doesn't hurt to ch check out either. Okay, the border changes. Okay. If I the font Calibri. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot is this one change the fonts it's easy just go to replace it then calibri i already had calibri this one this one so i think you should choose now the normal delivery. I don't like black. Okay, let's change. This one. Light top. Uh, hey. Okay. Uh, I'm really good with it. Open up explorer frame. Choose the type of, and this is the idea. So this is, this will be a little tricky. This explorer frame DLL from 64 bit should be. Okay, wait. Before we start, I forgot. So we might need this. Uh, <coughs> Take ownership and double click to take ownership. Change your registry values so you can copy paste. Uh, if you download Kernel updated, you will get it to change the explorer frame. So if I choose, I choose the light explorer frame BLL. This is the 64 B. So I'll go to C, Windows, uh, Resources, Resources, oh, no. Windows, System 32, 64 bit will go to System 32, okay, we need to change that. Actually, we will need to only change that. Let's 
I had a backup here. This is the original stock explorer frame. So what you need to do is uh, rename this. Ah, oh, yeah. After that, let's start the ownership. You will have this option to the system files. If you happen to take ownership, this one, you will be able to rename this. The bot up crayon X. Rename it like that. Then paste your explorer frame DLL. Then go back. I'm I want to check something. If I did it to the other one, I know I did it. So if you're a 64 bit user, uh, it's very important to copy 64 to system system 32 and if you're a 30 bit user 32 bit user you will copy times, uh, times 86 dll x86 to the system 32 as well okay then simple after that was change you just need to restart it and boom everything is fine sure. so that's all I hope you learned something and if you want to discover more he gave some links actually the login screen changer the pod player scheme for media and some uh, what's this A rain meter some extras for rain meter some icons it's pretty neat and complete and he gave it uh, skins for win up win up that is it so everything will be in the description below so don't worry i'm gonna stop this and bye bye